Let's see how to have the best setup to build killer apps on Noah. Let's go. Three things you need to use to get that setup. First, you gotta have a Noah desktop version. Then, with a the desktop version, you create a local project. And lastly, use the hot reload feature to test your app on an emulator or on a real device while building it at the same time. To get the desktop version, go to the web app and click on Download Noah. So, what will I get from using Noah desktop version comparing to the web version? First, you will have a better performance because Noah will be running directly on your device, not inside a browser. The second thing is you will be able to create local projects where your Flutter project files will be saved locally. From that, you can work offline. You can also use your favorite coding IDE like VS Code on the same project beside using Noah. And lastly, you will be able to use the hot reload feature. So let's create a local project together. First, inside Noah desktop version, click on create and then choose local. Choose a name for your project and then choose the path where the project will be saved. And that's it. Click on create and now you will have your Flutter local project. And now we got to the best part, the hot reload. So let's see this example. We're already having our iOS emulator running and we can choose that emulator from this window and then click on run. Wait a little bit and you will find your app running inside the emulator. Let's try to type inside to be sure that it is working fine. And then I want to do two quick changes. I want to change the text here to let's go. And I also want to change the email field and make it username. After that, click on Command S or Control S to save and you will find your changes instantly becoming live on the emulator. So I did put the wrong credentials on purpose just to see if it's working. Now I want to change the color of the button and I will choose almost white. And then I want to remove this widget from here and I want to add a component I created before called terms and conditions. Now I want to place this inside the group and then I want its layout to be auto so the width becomes exactly as the component size. Now with the control S you will see the update becomes instantly. Now I want to make the alignment go to the left side and also I want to add a little padding around that component. Now save again and your updates are live. Same thing goes for Android. So if you have your Android emulator running, you will also see it inside this list. And then choose that emulator, click on run, and your app will be running inside that emulator. Now it's time to spice it up a little bit and run the app on a real phone. So connect your phone to your laptop and then you will find your phone name inside the emulator list. Choose the phone and click on run. Now wait a little bit and you will find your app running inside the phone. You might have to enable USB debugging inside your phone to make this work. Now I want to change a little bit on the layout. So I did this change, click on Command S or Control S and then the change will be updated instantly. Now I want to change the color of the background. So first I want to remove the image and then I did place a color to the background. Save the project and your changes will become live. It's your turn now. Go to app.noah.dev and start building today.